As one of the largest GAs in the country, Arrowhead has program management down to a science. Find formulas for success at arrowheadgrp.com slash science. Forensic electrical engineer and president of Anderson Engineering, Eric Anderson talks with Claims Journal's Denise Johnson about the fire cases he sees frequently and explains arcing. Hi Eric, can you tell me a little bit about what your company does? Yes, we are a forensic engineering company and we try and determine what causes losses, typically fires, sometimes uh, personal injury, and we deal basically with electrical devices and electrical systems that may have some uh, may play some role in the loss or causing the loss, that type of thing. And can you tell me if you work just in the Arizona area? Yes, I do work in the Arizona area, but I'm also nationwide. Uh, we have a number of engineers that work at Anderson Engineering, and we are, again, nationwide. Tell me what type of electrical fires that you investigate. Typically, we look at electrical fires that may have been caused by appliances or by wiring or by any other type of electrical devices, uh, both residential and commercial. Can you tell me if there's any typical trends in electrical fires? Not necessarily, but we, we do take a look at a number of uh, appliances that may be coming from offshore that might not be quite as... Uh, oh, qu quite as good a quality as what we've seen in the past. So there, there are a number of issues like that to, that we consider in looking at fires, electrical fires. Can you describe a little bit about arcing? Yes, arcing is basically the breakdown of insulation on electrical wires or uh, conductors that are uh, carrying current. And arcing can cause temperatures in the range of about 5,000 to 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which can then ignite combustibles in and around it. How soon should you be called to a scene? Actually, it'd be great if we could get called to a scene immediately after the fire investigator determines that there's a potential that there could be an electrical device or that the fire may have been ignited by electrical energy. At that point in time, it's critical that we become involved, I believe, so that we can know as much information as possible of the fire scene prior to uh, it being disturbed by any of the investigation that occurs afterwards.